Hi everyone, my name is Niyati and I'm a tutor here on Czech Tutors and I tutor biology and uh, medicine and today I'll be talking to you about articulations which is basically um, a five dollar word for joints in the body. Now um, I'm going to be telling you a little bit about the types of joints um, and what's uh, different between all the different types. So over here I have a flow chart that shows uh, the different types of joints based on the degree of movement allowed by the joints. So based on the degree of movement, the joints are classified as synarthrosis, amphiarthrosis, and synovial joints, as you can see. Um, so the synarthrosis are the immovable joints. And what holds these joints together is basically fibrous, uh, tough tissue. These joints are mainly uh, made for giving strength and protection and not so much for movement. So synarthroses are um, of three different types, sutures, gomphoses, and syndesmoses. So sutures, for example, are um, the types of fibrous joints that connect the flat um, plate-like bones of your skull. Uh, so those are sutures, which is a type of fibrous joint um, and also a type of synarthroses. Gomphoses are another type of fibrous joint that um, connects that basically helps anchor your teeth into the bony sockets of your jaw. So I have a picture of that right here. So those are sutures. Whoops, I'm sorry, I labeled this wrong. Um, this is an example of sutures and this is an example of gomphoses, which is um, the joint that anchors your teeth into your jaw. Sutures are the joints that connect the bones of your skull and over here you have a syndesmosis, which is um, the third type of fibrous immovable joint, um, which is formed by this interosseous membrane. So in this case, it's between um, the tibia and fibula of the lower limb. So that type of fibrous joint is called as syndesmosis. Um, so let's talk a bit about the synovial joints now. Uh, since these are the most commonly used joints and we use them every day um, for our different daily activities to move our body, these are the predominant type of joints in our limbs. Um, so the, the uh, particular characteristic of a synovial joint is that it is freely movable. And what allows it to be movable is um, what's known as a synovial um, cavity. So over here in this picture, I've shown you the uh, basic structure of a, of a synovial joint. And the synovial cavity is basically formed with, um, you have the two bones, and this blue part right here is the articular surface of both the bones. Um, the white part on the outside is the articular, sorry, is the synovial um, capsule. And on the inside, you have the synovial membrane. And within that, all this is the synovial fluid. So the synovial joints, which are the most flexible joints in the body, which allow for maximum range of movement and flexibility, this is what, the cavity is what gives them that mobility, which is not present in case of your synarthrosis or immovable joints. So the different types um, of synovial joints uh, based on uh, what kind of movement is allowed at the joint is your hinge joint, for example, um, which is your knee or your elbow, which allows flexion and extension, so that's basically only along one plane. So you can only bend your elbow in one way with your arm, with your arm going up, and you can only bend your knee um, so that your leg points um, behind you. You can't bend your knee so that your leg points forward. So that's what it means by being able to uh, carry out flexion and extension within one plane. So that's like the hinges of a door, which is you have your hinge joint right here. The second type of synovial joint is the ball and socket joint in which you have um, a round um, articular surface of one bone that fits into um, like a hollow cavity of another bone. So a classic example of that is your glenohumeral joint or your shoulder where you have the glenoid fossa of your scapula, which is right here, um, which receives the round, the head of the humerus. And this particular type of joint allows for a complex movement called circumduction, which is basically like a conical movement of your arm where um, the, the, the tip of the cone is formed by your glenohumeral joint, so right here, 
And then if you were to draw um, a circle in the air with your arm, then the base of the cone would be that circle and the tip of the cone would be uh, your shoulder. So that particular type of movement is called circumduction, which can be done by this type of ball and socket joint. The next type of synovial joint is a pivot joint, um, which you can see right here. Um, a classic example of a pivot joint is the atlantoaxial joint, um, which is basically the joint between your first and second cervical vertebra, the atlas and the axis. And this type of joint allows rotation along um, one axis, vertical axis. So your side to side movement of your neck like this is basically by your pivot joint. The next type of synovial joint is a saddle joint, as you can see in the picture. Um, we use this joint an awful lot um, when we use our thumbs um, for texting. So our opposability of our thumbs is thanks to the saddle joint um, right here as a part of the um, metacarpal phalangeal, phalangeal joint of your, of, your, of your thumb. That is the saddle joint. And one more type of synovial joint is a gliding joint, also known as a plane joint. Um, this basically allows sliding of, of bones over one another. So the example of that is your wrist, so your carpals of the wrist, which allow your flexion and extension is basically allowing um, the, the bones to glide over another, one over another, and your tarsal bones and your ankle. So that covers the different types of um, synovial joints and the uh, types of movement that they allow. Um, so let's go back to our classification table once again. Um, so last is the arm which are partially movable. Um, and these are basically characterized by, they are held together by cartilage. This can be either hyaline cartilage or fibrocartilage. Depending on what type of cartilage holds these kind of joints together, they're classified into primary or synchondroses or secondary or symphyses. These are the two types of amphiarthroses. In the primary uh, amphiarthroses, which is also known as synchondrosis, um, you basically have your main type of cartilage is hyaline cartilage. Um, and an example of this is um, between the diaphysis and epiphysis of a long bone. So the diaphysis is like the shaft of the bone and the epiphysis is the very end. And in between that, you have um, this uh, synchondrosis joint, which is a temporary joint um, and it's immovable and it is made up of hyaline cartilage. You can't see the cartilage um, on an x-ray, so it kind of looks like the bone is floating. And so you can kind of think of this as uh, a bone cartilage bone sandwich because the cartilage is in between the diaphysis and epiphysis of the long bone. Um, in secondary or uh, symphysis uh, type of amphiarthrosis, you can either have hyaline cartilage or fibrocartilage. Um, and an example of this is your pubic symphysis. Um, where the uh, pubic uh, bones meet in the midline. Uh, so the, that basically covers um, your basic types of articulations in the body. Um, if you have any more questions, my, uh, the link to my Czech Tutor profile is down below. You can feel free to uh, message me on there. Uh, I hope this tutorial helped and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Goodbye.